Hello, my name is Thane and I'm back with another experiment of AI art. Here is five styles or looks for your images that really make a difference. The examples in this video have been made with the Midjourney version 5.1, which is the current default style of Midjourney at the time of making this video. I guess we are all waiting for the release of Midjourney 5.2 at this point, which was supposed to happen already last week. So it will probably come just as I've released this video or during the making of this. And if it doesn't I have still several nice styles lined up for you while we all anticipate the 5.2. Gooch is a vibrant and opaque paint that can create stunning effects with ink. It means water splash in Italian. I'm not sure about the splashing water with Midjourney. I think this style looks more like paper cutouts. The colors are really strong and contrasting. Lots of red and pink it seems. Landscape images look that way too, I guess you could say these were created with pooch paint. The wildlife looks very much like it usually does, so no big effect there. Macro is looking very bright and intricate with the splashes of paint in some of the images. Very pink cities, looking like they always do. Interiors have a kind of more painted look, or painted with very big brush strokes look. It is hard to make sense of the architecture, there's some nice elements, but the overall picture gets lost to me. Portraits too look painted with very broad strokes. But fantasy gets back to the look we initially saw with this style. And sci-fi just goes a step further, it is so much more detailed compared to what we've seen before, it's like in a completely different style. I even had to check if I got the correct grid, and I did. Ink on paper is a classic and versatile medium. But what if you want to add some dynamism and movement? Try using an oblique line, which is neither horizontal nor vertical. Ink on paper on an oblique line. I really like these. They're kind of abstract and partly somewhat recognizable things. The lines certainly are very oblique. And the ink I guess here is black. The black and white theme seems to be continuing onto nature images, although the lines part gets more obscured when you introduce a subject. Landscapes look very cool, but I guess they are more like watercolor paintings painted with only black. The animals look good as well, there is a slight hint of the oblique lines there. But the macro is an entirely different story, these look awesome. The cities look like the normal looking cities we tend to get, just in grayscale, hardly any oblique lines there. Interiors look nice, but again look more like pencil drawings. Architecture kind of gets closer to what we saw with just this phrase, but it's still overpowering the oblique line part of the prompt. Portraits look a mix between the pencil drawings and watercolor paintings with just one color. Fantasy is looking really nice and detailed, compared to portraits it does have more oblique lines mixed in there. Sci-fi is looking very cool, so much detail and this looks very good. Urban expressionism is a style of art influenced by graffiti, street art, pop culture, and social issues. It uses bright colors, bold shapes, and distorted forms to convey emotions and messages. Normally I don't really love expressionism, but I wanted to show this anyway because it really makes the images look so different from the default style. And I guess urban for mid-journey means trains or metro cars. We get trains in landscape images, even in wildlife images, and macro images as well. City images obviously have trains in them. But for a change interior and architecture do not. Really chaotic style, but there's so much color. Portraits look expressionist without so much urban. Fantasy has moved to modern times and is kind of clashing with the idea of the prompt. And sci-fi has overpowered the urban expressionism, because we see less of that. So yeah. Not so much one of my favorite styles, but to each their own. 
Dark aquamarine is a deep blue-green color named after the mineral aquamarine. It can evoke mystery, depth, and calmness. It can also contrast well with other colors. And it can create a lot of gemstones on its own, because it's a word with a double meaning. But I really like the moody fantasy landscapes we see here with some very sharp cliffs that look as if they're made of the gemstones. One of the bears in the wildlife images definitely is. The other wildlife looks great too. In macro I guess we see again close-ups of the gemstone. I had to select this word combination because for a change I really like the city images. The top left one and bottom right one especially. Interiors look good too, perhaps a little dark, but stylish. Architecture too is very pointy, but the staircases look nice and epic. Like in a video game when you walk up to a boss. All of these images seem to be depicting people. There is some nice fashion going on in all of them with some jewelry and hats made of aquamarine. The fantasy images have really nice dresses. And sci-fi images have some very futuristic clothes there, some of them could be spacesuits. Grotesque beauty is something that is both ugly and beautiful at the same time. It can challenge our notions of aesthetics, morality, and taste. It can also fascinate and repel us simultaneously. And those are the reasons why I was kind of debating on whether I should add this to this list. The result is mostly pretty, really detailed, lots of flowers. But at the same time there's something off in them and they're somewhat disturbing. It may not be evident in these images, but you will see in a moment what I mean. If you could look away from the terrifying macro images for a moment, you will see some kind of surrealistic or fantasy-inspired landscapes. The wildlife is more towards its usual style. But the macro, just eek. There's something captivating, but as they are supposed to be, they are very grotesque and disturbing. Very weird-looking city images here. Thankfully not so disturbing as the macro was. The interior images are as well really weird, somebody should fire their interior designer for coming up with something like that. Architecture seems to be doing some scary faces on the facades. Thankfully I hope we have now gotten over the scare of the macro and get to the more beautiful side of this prompt. The portraits do look strange, very ornate and not that disturbing. Less grotesque it would seem. Fantasy too has some weird stuff in there, kind of beautiful, kind of grotesque and certainly different. And for sci-fi we see some beautiful and weird tentacled androids. I do hope you forgive me for the scary macro images. Let me know in the comments if you found some styles in this video that you wanted to try out yourself. And if you come across something awesome, let me know as well. I might do an experiment with your suggestions eventually. And if you like this kind of content and would like to see more stuff like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching and let's continue prompting.